Hey everyone, it's John. Um, today I'm going to show you how I found a solution, or actually my solution, for the big thumb, big, big finger problem when shooting spherical panoramas from the Ricoh Theta camera when shooting handheld. That means you're holding the camera and just pushing the button. Um, one of the issues with shooting, uh, one of the issues with shooting that is that your finger is so close to the camera lens, your hand, that when you um, when you when you when you navigate down on the panorama, you see this giant hand, and it's badly stitched because this is what the camera is, right? And it's quite amazing, but it just throws off the viewer because, in my opinion, it throws me off when I see it. And I'm looking at this really cool panorama, and all of a sudden I see this little hand, and and, and I'm, I'm trying to figure out what's going on with here. What this? Now, what you could do is you could put a shape. You could uh, paint it over. You could just put some kind of like your watermark, your logo, and that that works. But there's quite a bit of work involved in doing that. You need another third-party program to spit it up, then patch it, then restitch the 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 panorama. So I found, I figured out an easier way to do it. So all you need is a program like Photoshop or any photo editing program that allows you to work with layers, where you put one layer on top of another, flatten it, merge it, and bam, you're done. So anyway, here is the picture. Uh, this is the straight out of the camera picture, and I want to be able to patch this. I want to fix it so that I'm gonna have to see my fingers, right? All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this right now. I'm gonna close the Ricoh Theta, and here's the app. Here's the uh, here's the actual image. I'm going to go ahead and open it up in Photoshop. And here's the uh, here's the picture. Um, what's good about uh, Photoshop or any image editing thing program is at this at at this point you could go do some color correction. You can fix it up a little bit so in case it was overexposed you might be able to tweak it maybe enhance the colors I'm not going to do that so what I'm going to do now is let's go ahead and open up this file this is the patch that I created this is a uh, a picture of the camera already stretched out um, and, it's tra and it's a transparent background I'm going to go ahead and open that into Photoshop I'm going to make this file available for you uh, via the links in the YouTube comment page and I'll show you how this works. So this 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 camera here is actually um, this camera but already cut out and stretched for you and all you need to do is just place this onto your photograph. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to click here. I'm going to click on the camera itself on this layer. I'm going to click. I'm going to drag it to that other picture here I'm gonna place it right here I'm gonna it should snap in place so just drag it down to the bottom here where, where, where was maybe snap right here and looks like my hand is in perfect here so I probably want to raise the camera just slightly bigger make it slightly bigger just to cover up that imperfection I, I give up a little bit of uh, surface area but that's fine so I'm gonna hit return I'm going to go ahead and flatten this image, flatten, flatten image, I'm going to save a copy. You don't want to work with the original because just in case you want to go back or you make a mistake then you don't ruin the original. So I'm going to call this one a copy or fixed, I'm just going to call this fixed, save that. And save it as maximum quality, okay. And then I'm going to minimize there. And here's the picture that just got saved. I'm going to go ahead and now open that program, open that picture right in the Rico Theta app. And voila, there you go. So now you have uh, the panorama. And I have uh, a picture of the camera here instead of instead of just my hand that's badly stitched. It just looks more natural and the viewer kind of figure out figures out what I'm doing that I'm actually using the camera. Right? So this is my solution to the big thumb problem. But, you know, for example, you know, I don't get manicures, so you know, it's not it's not like my fingers are very attractive, so it just looks ugly when you see it magnified when you shoot pictures handheld with the Rico. 
just, but this is just my solution. I think it works really well. So once you're done with this, I hit share post. I'm going to say, uh, oh my God, I can't even remember this. I'm just going to call uh, uh, Manhattan Mall across the street from it. I don't even know. I can't remember what this mall is. And I'm going to hit post. Post it to the website. I'm just going to copy this. So it's because I don't see, I have the link. Launch a Safari. Look at this app. Look at the um, uploaded panorama. And voila, there you go. No ugly fingers, no ugly thumbs. So you can, um, I'm going to make the file available to you. And if you want to use it, go ahead. It's great. Um, if you don't even want to deal with this, then obviously you can shoot with a tripod, try to make a, uh, a makeshift stand, put the iPhone, put I mean, put the, um, the Ricoh Theta camera on like a table or something, and then you just shoot it using your iPhone, connect it remotely. But a lot of times when you're running around, you just can't set that up. It just takes forever, and you may miss the shot. And this, this is the way I say this. I think this is the best solution to making pictures look a little bit more natural. Okay, cool. All right. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and add them th down below in the YouTube uh, video. And if you have any questions, I'll try to answer it for you. Okay, cool. Hope you enjoyed this. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.